welcome back to my youtube channel hashtag movie bay i am movie bay and in this video i'm going to be doing a review over episode seven of jocelyn's cabaret texas but before i get too into it though i would like for y'all to drop down and hit that subscribe button thank you because here on movie bay i do reviews reactions and commentary to movies and television and if that is the type of content you like you might as well stick around and hit the subscribe button and if you find yourself enjoying my commentary along the way don't be afraid to give me a thumbs up and or drop a comment down below all right now i could take my professional voice off and we could go ahead and get into this review so as y'all know hennessy and neek got into it on the bus right popping big cash money so the moment that hennessy gets off of the bus when she sees neek pop she goes for her now granted she did not hit her as clean as she probably would have hoped because Nick actually had the chance to uh, post up. Shout out to Zeus for replaying it all the way back from the beginning. You know, it's giving BGCTs and we appreciate good editing. Thank you so much for that. Um, That fight was like horrible. It's like they were swinging and hoping that something lands. These girls are just so wild and erratic that it makes no sense. So the fight is a wash. Nobody wins. Nobody loses. All right. One thing though, Nick, come here, Nick. <laughs> Let's talk, Nick. Neek was ranting and raving and so mad about Hennessy, quote unquote, sneaking her. I just think like, baby, are you delusional? Because I know, <laughs> I know you didn't think that you could really run your mouth how you was running in that mouth, making threads, talking about the girl, her, her shoes, her kuchu nanas thinking like you was talking greedy to that girl. You really surprised that the moment you got off the bus, she caught you for real. You didn't think that, oh, why are you sneaking? Did you really think, <laughs> did you really think <laughs> that she wasn't going to get you? That's crazy to me. So to me, no, it wasn't a sneak. Because if you could run that mouth, you need to be ready to run them hands at all times, okay? Now, while they outside hooping and hollering and yelling, I'm Team Jocelyn. Be quiet in front of these people's establishments. Why can't you fight and then go back professional? Like, do y'all know where we at? We are in public. We are not at the house. Learn how to conduct yourselves. Speaking of conducting themselves, Rose pulls Hennessy to the side and she tries to tell her like, hey, yo, calm down. Come in here. Let's rehearse. It's $50,000 on the line. It's $50,000 on the line. And Hennessy just so mad that she can't even hear that right now. So she decides to not go to rehearsal. Now, I said the same thing in my last video. We could fight. That's cool. But ain't no girl ever... Ever, 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 ever gonna be able to get me out my skin to where I can't win. Okay, bars, bitch, <laughs> bitch, bars. <laughs> can't no girl ever get me out of my skin to where I won't win. I would have definitely went to rehearsal and I would have definitely showed out and be like, nan and a boo boo, you can't see me with these hands nor on the dance floor. <laughs> I don't know about Hennessy, but that's how I would have been. I'm just saying. And later on in the episode, Jocelyn, you know, doesn't even get upset with Hennessy. She just kind of like talks to her and let her know, like, don't you ever, 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 <laughs> ever, ever, ever let it get you out your skin to where you can't win. Period, Jocelyn. Now, in rehearsals, Jocelyn is being classic Jocelyn, right? When people can't roll their eyes, they can't sweat, they can't sneeze, but sneeze in your shirt. Granted, I too sneeze in my shirt because I just feel like that arm, elbow, that ain't good enough, bitch. Passages are still all in the air. You need to cover your mouth 100%. Sneeze in your shirt. I'm with Jocelyn on that, okay? But Jocelyn is being classic, quintessential. Ain't that the word I'm looking for, y'all? Mm, SAT word. Jocelyn. Like I said, she getting mad at everybody for everything. But something that she did say is she called Isis out because she's like, why you got an attitude? Like, what's up with your face? Like, what's going on? And Isis was like, well, I really just feel like that you be picking on me. And Jocelyn was like, well, if you feel like I'm picking you, if at your big age you could let another grown woman pick on you, then you need to leave. And I agree. Because why would you stay somewhere where you feel like you are unappreciated and getting picked on? Jocelyn crazy, but she didn't make sense. So the next day, the girls are back at the house talking about rehearsals and the drama. Now, this part confused me, y'all, because when did Rosé drop Hennessy like a bad heavy? Like, what did Jocelyn say? Drop it like a bad back of dope. Ah! Jocelyn! <laughs> Jocelyn is TV gold. I have been a fan since Love & Hip Hop because she just be having some quotables. It's like, what be going on in that girl's head for real? Anyways, 
But now, all of a sudden, Rose doesn't even want to sleep in the same room as Hennessy. She's willing to uh, roommate and room and board with uh, Oceans because she feels like Hennessy is manipulating her. And I'm like, what did I miss? Because just yesterday, when y'all had y'all sit down, you understood what she said. And now today, it's you don't want to be in the room with her. Well, I, when, when Danny said, do you feel like you're being manipulated? I would have been like, yeah, by y'all. Rose, what happened? Where is that energy? Now, with that situation, I said in my last video, I'll say it real briefly again. I don't think Hennessy meant anything by it. I think she meant so like in the spirit of competition. Will I do my friend dirty for any y'all reason? No. But in the spirit of competition, if Jocelyn told me I need to punch her in the face for fifty hundred, fifty thousand dollars and I'm going to do it, that's how I took it. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to pop your ish. You're supposed to think you're that girl and still cheer on your friend at the same time. What's the problem with that? And Hennessy did not deny what she said. The only thing is, the only thing is she gave her POV as opposed to outsiders POV. So now I don't, I just don't understand why Rose just flipped like that. I don't know. Like, I don't want to say that she flipped, but something was not shown. A conversation, an argument, something was not shown. So the competition for this episode is my favorite. When the girls get to show their natural born talents. But uh, <laughs> natural born, naturally trained, however you say it, talents, right? Um, They did this on season two. And it was my favorite episodes where the girls just got on the pole and they did what they did best, right? So this specific, the details for this specific challenge is sex appeal. Pictures will be limited. <laughs> Because when I tell y'all the girls got tricks, the girls got tricks, okay? I wonder what that room was smelling like afterwards. They say strippers are clean, but mm -hmm. I, it was just too 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 much bare ass and coochie for me. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into my critique of some of the standouts for this episode. Well, first and foremost, how they gonna go on Jocelyn's Cabaret, Texas and not on a cowboy hat, boots, and some chaps is beyond me. Diamond, what are you wearing? How are you supposed to dance in that? Exactly. That's exactly why you couldn't dance in that because it's too tight. It's restricting. But you come in to dance and strip. What are you wearing? That's exactly why all you can do is pull them big old jugs out and bounce them around. Speaking of bad wardrobe cho choices, Drea, you should have kept on what you had. Because when you went and changed to turn into a coyote and you had that tail coming between your legs looking like a turd. Yeah, baby, not sex appeal. And what I really want for Drea and Danny to do is to calm them nappy party city wigs. That's really what I want from y'all. I just want y'all to comb your wigs, okay? Now, aside from the girls having bad wardrobe choices, some were either, I mean, like, uh, sex appeal, it was lacking. They were popping Uchi, spreading Uchi, and showing Uchi, and setting it on fire, but as for sex appeal, they had none. Even when Big Envy did the fire trick, right? Jocelyn asked Ballistic, Ayo, Ballistic, if she was in the cabaret, would you be uh, excited? He was like, yeah, no. He meant no. That's exactly what that meant. He, would I be entertained? Sure. It's like a circus act. But am I excited? No. Now, let's talk about the girls that really had the sex appeal, okay? Starting with Envy Erica. She went second. She did her thing. Eye contact. Slow. Grinding. That sex appeal. Next up is my Dom, okay? Dominican Dom. I think that's her name anyways. Uh, slow, sensual, eye contact. She had a little wardrobe malfunction with the shirt. I wish she just would have left it halfway open. But aside from that, yes, me and Ballistic agree, okay? And then last but not least is Neek. Neek actually was the sexiest to me. She had lots of tricks, very flexible. However, she was still cutesy, really mindful, very demure, okay? Still giving eye contact, slow and sexual. I sent Grant this video of Neek dancing on Instagram. Hey, y'all, say hey, say hey to Grant. Say hey to Grant, make some noise, y'all, okay, period. And Neek has it. She is a very sexy dancer. Honestly, to me, Neek one yet another challenge if you know you leave it up to me however jocelyn is going to decide which girls will be in the domino video next week and it seems like it's going to start of course rivalry in the house because next week bitches is fighting to the death okay i'm talking about well first off they are swinging missing 
and just praying something lands. But when I tell y'all, I yelped out loud with Isis chased Drea around that counter and whop, whop, whopped her in that head. And then when I saw Hennessy kick, kick, kicking those shits in the face, I said, period. Period. She's about to squab. The whole episode is going to be fighting. <laughs> y'all know I really don't care for that. However, when it has purpose and reason, I rock with it. You know who don't have a purpose and a reason? Jayla. Always jumping in somebody's fight, as well as Light Skin Envy Erica. Both of y'all need to sit down somewhere. That y'all, ugh, ugh, it's giving pick me. Nobody likes to pick me. Flick you, booger. Anyways, thank y'all so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more content just like this. I will be going live with the crew over uh, the final episode of Baddie's Cabaret Reunion, and then I will be doing my own separate review over the reunion special as well. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned. I will see y'all next time. Bye.